Other news of the day and a gang member being held at Rikers on murder charges is facing new charges tonight after an attack on a correction officer. The officer suffered a broken nose and burns from scalding water thrown at him. The union representing correction officers claims the risk to officers has jumped significantly after Mayor de Blasio changed rules for young inmates and isolation. Investigative reporter Danielle Lee has been taking a closer look at the violence at Rikers. She's live at the Bronx County Courthouse tonight where the inmate will face a judge. Danielle. And Liz, we're being told that that hearing will be happening at any minute. Now, Javon Johnson was already facing the potential of serious prison time before assaulting an officer over the weekend. And the correction officers union calls his actions representative of a concerning uptick in violence at Rikers. Four New York City correction officers assaulted in separate incidents since mid-February. One slashed, another punched, another the victim of a gang beating that fractured his spine. And over the weekend, this officer beaten and burned by Javon Johnson, a man in Rikers on charges of murder and felony assault. In all honesty, I have members who are afraid. The correction officers union president, Elias Hussamadine, largely blaming the violence on Mayor Bill de Blasio and his reforms restricting how inmates are punished for bad behavior while in jail. I don't think that he has a healthy respect for law and order. And while the mayor is firing back. That's ridiculous and that's unfair and he shouldn't he shouldn't play politics with something so important. He admits the Department of Correction needs to increase penalties for bad behavior. And this is one area where the union I think has raised some very valid concerns. Seven on your side investigates examined incident data from the city and found a concerning uptick in the number of people getting hurt during assaults on staff. While overall assaults were up just 2% last year, there's been a 5% increase in minor injury assaults and a 34% increase in assaults resulting in serious injury. We need these jails to be safe and we need the jails to be safe today. The Department of Correction is promising to spend $4.5 million toward increasing safety at Rikers. Now that is going to include adding these specially trained patrol units, also increasing the number of officers who have tasers and improving communication with NYPD, all of that by the end of June.